What's going on YouTube my subscribers? It's your boy Eli here back with another commentary gameplay awesomeness playing on Detroit. This is GBSND. I am playing with Hunter and Sage. Sage is something that you guys maybe should know from like way back throwback Thursday long time ago. I've been playing with him forever so I'm pretty sure you guys should know who Sage is. Hunter is a buddy that I've been playing. Well, I've been um, I've known since like I was back on Merkin uh, as a manager, so I've known him for a while too. So um, playing some GBs. Um, this is the first map. I ha I haven't literally touched the sticks. I've only Netflix for like the past two weeks, maybe more, maybe like a week. I don't know. It's been a while, uh, and and pretty much just because I, I like get these like these things where I want to play, and then I get like really hyped up to play, and then I like play for like one map and it's like oh my god that was awful and so I don't play for like another two weeks so um but I've been really like wanting to like get I, I really want to get a lot of gameplays and commentaries and stuff out just because I mean I, I really love YouTube and like my videos aren't doing as good as they as they have in the past like um historically my my videos aren't doing very good at all um they used to do like pretty decent you know pretty well I used to get some pretty good feedback and comments and subscribers and stuff but uh, and, you know, a part of that is because, um, number one, I've had some audio issues and stuff, so I'm not bringing the best, like, content ever. Um, uh, it feels like, I feel like I've been rushing the stuff I've done, so um, I think I'm going to just do, you know, less videos, but just do more quality in them. Um, and so, yeah, um, I, I'm hoping to be on the grind. Um, I just, it's so hard to find people to GB with because, like, I, I've never really wagered. I, I wanted to wager with, with Implicating whenever he was here, but... Uh, he's gone now, so um, or he's got be gone for two years. So um, he's like doing like preaching the gospel thing. Um, if you guys didn't know, but um, yeah, so it's, it's hard to find people to GB with, and the people I have GB'd with it's pretty much Hunter and, and Sage, uh, and that's like few and far between, just because we all have different schedules, and so um, you know we played two last night, went two and zero, oh, which is dope. Uh, but yeah, so I hopefully I'll be playing more and um you know bringing you guys some gb um and i, I do stream guys um I, I i've been not streaming as much because i don't get that many viewers um which is kind of it's okay but it's not okay at the same time just because it's really hard to stay motivated when like you stream for like two or three hours and like the only person that's watched your stream is like a one person that came in there and was like hey and then left like it's like it's like not reoccurring like i'm not seeing the same people so i just kind of took a like a step back from streaming but i love streaming like i love like the whole like everything about it honestly i love uh being in front of a live audience which is pretty cool so um and we have a lot of fun when we play gbs like i i get like turned like i i do dumb things i say dumb things i scream i yell i i joke everything so i mean i think it's pretty entertaining so i think just maybe people just don't you know know about it um because like, I always tweet it out and stuff, but uh, that's about the only, unless you follow me, that's the only way that you're gonna tell that I'm streaming. But uh, anyways, uh, if you guys want to follow my stream, it's um, twitch.tv slash swaggerly. Swaggerly. Uh, it's actually swaggerly. S W A G G E R L Y, which is what most of you guys should know me from from way back in the day. Um, but anyways, um, gonna be kind of a shorter video. Well, it's like nine and a half minutes long, so it's not really super short, but. Uh, I've been talking with my brother all day, and like he's a really big Star Wars fan, and I, I really like Star Wars too. And like back in the day, we were always like, "What if like?" Oh, we're also really big Battle Battlefield fans, so uh, I I don't ever put Battlefield uh, videos up because nobody watches them pretty much. But um, I played it a lot, like Battlefield Four. Um, but um, like we were always like, you know, what if they, what if Battlefield and like Star Wars combined? This was like years. Like this is probably. Battlefield Three or Battlefield Two, it was it was a while ago, and we're like, what if what if like Dice made a Battlefield version of Star like a Star Wars version of Battlefield, and then like six months later, there's like a hint or announcement that like Dice was making I think it was at E3, and it was like Dice was making Battlefront, it it was gonna be on the same um, engine that um, that like, Battlefield plays on. And it was nuts because it was like our <laughs> our prayers had been answered. It was like immediate, like well, not really immediate, but you know, six months. It was relatively quickly, and it was like the best idea. It was like it was like oh, like I was so excited, and it, it's been a while in development. I'm not gonna lie, but 
I'm like super excited for this game to come out. And like we just today we talked about everything that's leaked and, and it's supposedly the 16th to the 19th of April is like the Star Wars celebration or something. And they're going to reveal like the first trailer of it. And it's like, I'm like super excited. If you guys haven't like heard about it, that's what they're going to do. They're going to, re- they're supposed to reveal, uh, do the game pay, re- game pay, the gameplay reveal of Star Wars Battlefront and, I mean, if you guys are Battlefield fans and you guys are Star Wars fans, this game is literally going to be, like, the best for you. (laughs) Because, like, I I totally cannot wait for it to come out because I think it's just going to be the best thing ever. Uh, They've been developing it for for a long time. Like, I I just, I really cannot wait. Um, And, you know, it's going to have, like, hopefully it's going to have a bunch of, like, really awesome elements in it. Um, Like, space to land battles and, like, I don't know. It's just going to be really awesome. I can't wait to see how they, because I played Battlefront, like, a long time ago, like when it was on the Xbox, and, and um, I, I I don't know if they're gonna like keep some of the same stuff that they did there, or if they're gonna, um, you know, change it up a little bit and kind of go their own way, or start up, start up their own new little, um, their like you know their own style of it. But like I love the Battlefront games from like back in the day, so uh, and I, I'm just I'm positive that's gonna be like leaps and bounds better because I mean it's newer, I mean, it's like six years more of technology, I mean, it's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be amazing, but, um, I'm just super excited, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be, like, I'm definitely gonna be playing a lot of that whenever it comes out, and it's supposed to come out in, like, the fall, there was, like, a leaked picture, uh, from Target or something, that it's gonna come out in fall 2015, and historically, um, Battlefield games have come out, like, in, I think, late October, um, ish, because I always remember they came out before the Call of Duty games, so I would play them for, like, three or four weeks just to kind of get, get like get through the time until the new Call of Duty came out. So, like, if they come out, <laughs> if it comes out in, like, October, uh, I'm going to be, like, ecstatic. Uh, it's going to be ridiculous because, like, I have been waiting for this game to come out for a long time, and I'm going to be super excited to see, like, all the next-gen awesomeness of what the, well, like, what their servers and what their engine and what everything can do. I, it's going to be amazing. And, and plus, Star Wars is just, like, it's not, like, it's, like, so futuristic. Like, I don't think Call of Duty could go to, like, laser guns and, like, you know, like Star Wars has. But Star Wars can because that's what it is. I mean, that's what the movie is. That's that's what the air is. It's all of that. So, you know, I think if Call of Duty went to um, laser beams and, uh, you know, all that cool stuff, I just know, I think they're trying to get there, but I think if it jumped there, then it just wouldn't seem natural, and make it a Star Wars game, it's going to be natural, because that's what the story is, so, anyways, I think it's going to be amazing, but, um, uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited, so hopefully you guys are too, hopefully you guys are going to, uh, accept the idea of, um, or welcome the idea of me playing, uh, and putting gameplay up of that because I think it's gonna be awesome. So hopefully there's some fans out there of that franchise or that series, Star Wars, which I'm sure there are. Um, but anyways, uh, this video is coming close to an end. Um, hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, definitely some feedback of what you guys are hoping to see from um, you know from Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, what you guys think is gonna happen? What you guys are excited about? And if nothing, you can just like leave a comment or a like. That'd be awesome too. But, uh, yeah, guys, there's, like, no audio in this video other than my voice, so I hope that's enough. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know what happened to the audio. Like, it, when I put it in the um, software, it just was gone. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Swaggerly, a.k.a. Eli, is out.